Good morning viewers, how was your day, I hope and believe that you had a nice time. Wherever you are, always believe that, God is constantly at work on our behalf, because his love endures forever in our life. Then what do we have to do? We only have to thank and appreciate him at all time. Welcome to another interesting video on M animations. We all get pulled in a million different directions and, therefore, forget about the importance of being able to show appreciation for the love of our life. If you're like most people who are overcommitted and trying to constantly cross things off your to-do list, take time to slow down and appreciate the person who loves you by telling them how important they are to you. Your partner simply isn't a priority. Though we appreciate them, we also have a tendency to take them for granted, and this is where a relationship can go down the wrong path. So, how to appreciate someone you love in a genuine and meaningful manner is in the video you are about to watch. Sit, relax and watch. <laughs> Did you go and see the woman, at least thank her for paying your fees? No, I did not. Why? Why should I go? My father has already did that. Then what is the point for me going there? It will be as if we are too broke to survive. I can't, and I can never do that. What is difficult there for you to do? It is a way of showing appreciation and gratitude. I have noticed this in you that, you do not appreciate what people do for you. It is not a good life. When people help, try to appreciate them. It is very difficult these days to help, so when you see anyone that renders help to you, try as much as you can to appreciate the person. The fact is this, when you appreciate people who help you, the appreciation can go a long way by creating more doors for more help to you. She only paid my fees, and nothing much. How much is $200, it is a little money. Just that, I had some financial issues. I would have sorted that out myself. She only paid my fees, and nothing much. How much is $200, it is a little money. Just that, I had some financial issues. I would have sorted that out myself. Have you listened to yourself? If $200 is not much, how come that you people could not afford to pay it for you, before the closing date for fees payments? Why were you crying and screaming for help? Now, someone volunteered to pay the money for you, and now, you are running your mouth. Watch your mouth. Do not bring my people here. If you want to talk to me, look at me and talk. But you forced me to say this. You did the same thing to me. When I lent you my property. But you were telling me that I gave you fake property. Something that you could not afford. You are too ungrateful for someone to help. Mummy, my friend blamed me for not appreciating the woman that paid my fees. How am I supposed to do that when daddy has already done it? Is there anything wrong as I did not appreciate the woman? My daughter, sit down, and let me enlighten you. One of the easiest and the effective way to motivate people is by appreciating them. When you praise or appreciate someone, it indicates that you have recognized their efforts. It may encourage them to go the extra mile. Giving recognition inspires greatness in others. When you express your appreciation for someone, you will not only improve their lives, but yours also. So, appreciation is a fundamental human need in both professional and private need. We want to be appreciated by what we are, what we do, and what we achieved. And, you need to appreciate people, either when they render help to you, or they render help to others, or even when they achieved success. All these need to be appreciated. Even when your friend makes a new hairstyle, wear a new clothes, appreciate it. Failure to appreciate them means that you are not happy for whatever they achieved. Hello, yes, come in. Welcome, have a sit. How is your health? I am good. Did you take your medication properly? No. Why? I was scared since I could not eat properly, taken medicine might put me in danger. I am still vomiting seriously and am very weak. The essence of the medicine was to calm that vomiting and to make you have some rest. Because if you take enough rest, you will soon get healed. Maybe if they symptoms continues. I suggest. You do pregnancy test. <laughs> pregnancy test, please don't make me laugh. Why are you laughing like that? Me pregnant, doctor, I would have appreciated God for doing that to me. 
I have stayed for more than 10 years after marriage, but no child. Once I take in, few months later, it terminated. It has been like that since I joined my husband. To some point, my husband has been tired of fasting and prayers. And even tired of making love with me, because it does not produce a result. But I don't know why your sickness has refused to go. I have given you the best medication but yet, no improvement. You have taken all kind of malaria tablets. Yet, no improvement. Let us try plan B. So, doctor, how much is my medical bill? Your medical bill is $50. Doctor, it is too much. Where will I have such amount of money? $50 is a big sum of money. Please, bring down the price, so that I can pay. Madam, we do not bargain in hospital. We only allowed that based on personal terms or agreement. And, which is? I used my power to do that for you. Call your husband and talk to him. Both of you, should join collaborate and pay the money. The last time you had issues, I deducted over 50% of the medical bill for you. That is why I always appreciate you. You are a good man, yes you for always considering me, anytime my matter comes to you. You husband, gave me two bottles of wine last time as an appreciation for, what I did. Just go I will speak with your husband. I think I should consider them because, they appreciated me the last time I helped them. Let me not harden my heart on them. Showing appreciation can be helpful, because it allows a person to form strong and lasting friendships, build self-confidence and reach their personal and professional goals. Appreciation is the act of showing acknowledgement and gratitude for someone's actions. Appreciation is part of being respectful and courteous to others. Saying thank you, especially, is a form of appreciation that can show good manners. Appreciation is a great way to be kind to others. Noticing the efforts and talents of others can make them feel validated and cared for. Appreciation can create a supportive community, where team members work together to help each other. So the doctor quickly recalled that the first time he helped them, they appreciated him. Most times, the little thing you do as an appreciation can go a long way. Just two bottles of wine cannot be compared with what the doctor did for them. My daughter, let me quickly tell you the benefits of showing appreciation to people. Gratitude opens the door to more relationships. Not only does saying, thank you, constitute good manners, but showing appreciation can help you win new friends, according to a 2014 study published in Emotion. The study found that thanking a new acquaintance makes them more likely to seek an ongoing relationship. Acknowledging other people's contributions can lead to new opportunities. Gratitude improves physical health. Grateful people experience fewer aches and pains and they report feeling healthier than other people, according to a 2012 study published in Personality and Individual Differences. Not surprisingly, grateful people are also more likely to take care of their health. They exercise more often and are more likely to attend regular checkups with their doctors, which is likely to contribute to further longevity. Gratitude improves psychological health. Gratitude reduces a multitude of toxic emotions, ranging from envy and resentment to frustration and regret. Robert A. Emmons, Ph.D., a leading gratitude researcher, has conducted multiple studies on the link between gratitude and well-being. His research confirms that gratitude effectively increases happiness and reduces depression. Gratitude enhances empathy and reduces aggression. Grateful people are more likely to behave in a prosocial manner, even when others behave less kind, according to a 2012 study by the University of Kentucky. Study participants who ranked higher on gratitude scales were less likely to retaliate against others, even when given negative feedback. They experienced more sensitivity and empathy toward other people and a decreased desire to seek revenge. Mother, it is true because people who do appreciate are open-minded. Grateful people sleep better. Writing in a gratitude journal improves sleep, according to a 2011 study published in Applied Psychology, Health and Well-Being. Spend just 15 minutes jotting down a few grateful sentiments before bed, and you may sleep better and longer. Gratitude improves self-esteem. A 2014 study published in the Journal of Applied Sports Psychology found that gratitude increased athletes' self-esteem, which is an essential component to optimal performance. Other studies have shown that gratitude reduces social comparisons. Rather than becoming resentful toward people who have more money or better jobs, which is a major factor in reduced self-esteem grateful people are able to appreciate other people's accomplishments. 
Mother, how do we appreciate others? One of the ways is by saying, thank you. It's a simple but powerful gesture. It's easy to forget to say, thank you, but those two little words can make a world of difference. Next time someone goes out of their way to do something kind or helpful for you, immediately acknowledge it by thanking them. 2. It's never too late to say thank you. If you don't remember it in the moment, give them a call or thank them the next time you see them. If plain old, thank you, just doesn't cut it, try something like, I'm incredibly grateful to you, you're so kind, or wow, it means so much to me that you did that. Tell the person specifically, what you thank him for. Your gratitude will feel more sincere and meaningful this way. It feels good to receive thanks, but even better to hear exactly what you did right. Instead of just saying, thanks, or, I appreciate you, and leaving it at that, go into detail about what the person did and what kind of impact their actions had. 3. For example, when I was in the hospital, you really went out of your way to check in on me every day and make sure I had everything I needed. Thank you, that really meant a lot to me. Express how their actions made you feel. Gratitude is about recognizing someone's positive impact on your life. Open up to the other person about what their care and effort has meant to you. 4. Be sincere and use words that describe your emotions. For instance, I feel so grateful for everything you've done. Your presence during all this has been extremely comforting. I was really stressed out, but your help has taken a huge load off of my mind. You can write to appreciate. Putting your gratitude in writing makes it more powerful. Plus, the recipient can save your note and read it again any time they need their day brightened. Take a few minutes to put your feelings down in writing. Send the note in the mail, leave it someplace for them to find, or bring it to them in person. To give your note an extra special, personal touch, you could even design your own thank you card. Your letter doesn't have to be long, but make it sincere and heartfelt. For instance, say something like, Dear Amina, I can't begin to thank you enough for all your help with organizing mum's retirement party. You helped make it a special evening that she'll never forget. We're all so grateful. Best wishes, Soren. Give them meaningful gifts. Choose something that reflects who they are or what they mean to you. The real value of a gift lies in the meaning behind it. To show how much you value someone's efforts, give them a gift that comes from the heart. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or expensive. For instance, you could give them a bouquet of flowers from your own garden, a care package with some of their favorite treats in it, or a framed photo of a meaningful moment you had together, include a note with the gift expressing your gratitude. For example, this is just a little something to say, thank you, for all you've done. You're truly appreciated. Take them out for dinner or throw a surprise party. Get together with a few friends, co-workers, or family members who share in your appreciation for this special someone. Work together to plan a celebration that will be truly enjoyable and meaningful for them. Look for ways to express your appreciation during the gathering. For instance, you might lead the other guests in a toast to the guest of honor, tell a brief story about something they did that you're grateful for, or present them with a special gift. For example, you could give a toast and say something like, we're all here to celebrate Edith tonight. Without her hard work, this project would never have become a reality. Thank you mother, for your advice. I will keep and implement it. I am prevailed to have a mother like you. That always direct her children on how to go in right way. I appreciate all you have done for me and the family. I pray may the God Lord continue to keep you and provide the desire of your heart. Amen. Learn to appreciate people that helped you. Do not be an ingrate. Appreciate your parents, you pastor, your brothers and sisters, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. For appreciation opens door to more success. Bye. <laughs>